of peoples of all kinds. Yes, of all kinds. Everyone deserves the right to be heard. Everyone deserves the right to be who they are. Everyone deserves to give everyone else peace. That's my lesson of the day. <sighs> yeah, there's something going on that's upsetting me. Um, and it's been on my mind all day long yesterday. Invaded my dreams last night. It's someone hating somebody else. their orientation and thinking that it's a choice. Mm -hmm. Every time I think we live in a progressive world. Progressive? Is that the right word? No. Let's not use political terms because I hate political parties too. Every time I think we live in an advanced world I'm taken back to the Stone Age. Anyway, love your fellow human being. Period. Period. And even though this person has made me angry, even though this person has made me angry, I still accept that he can believe what he wants. Oh, acceptance is a hard thing, my friends. Anyway, let's get on with other things. I'm tired. I was sick last night. That's great, but on my way to work. And, um,. I finally finished the Sulan, 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 uh, Sulan uh, introductory uh, chapters, which I'm very excited about. And uh, I invented a way to bring her into the book. I had invented something previously, a way to bring her into the book. And uh, I looked back on it and for as involved as it was to bring the character Paul into the book, and as involved as it was to bring Hughie into the book, um, Sulan just kind of shows up. So I redid her entry into the book in a way that made a lot of sense, um, and also uh, harkens back to her childhood was incredibly satisfying. I'm glad I'm done that part because I kind of want to go back to just editing, editing, but I actually was writing, which I like, don't get me wrong, I love writing, but I really want to get this book done. And the more I was writing, and I may have to edit some of it down because there's too much content, I really enjoyed writing her. I think I finally comfortably found her voice. I understand her origin, I understand where she's coming from, I understand her motivations, and it all makes sense, so as her aspects of her personality shows up in the book, because she's a very particular person, um, there was really no explanation for the way she was, she just was. Anyway, um, Sorry, I'm still rattled from this thing yesterday. But, uh, yeah, I knew her. I understood her motivation. So now as I go through the editing process, every time there's a scene that she's in, it's going to make more sense in my head. And I may tweak, you know, a few things here. I may change a word or two or, or something. Um... 
yeah, so very excited. So now I'm just into editing the rest of part one of the book. Just going through, I've, I've already edited most of it, but I'm just making sure the consistencies with Salon uh, make sense. Wow, I'm in the slow lane, and we're going faster than the passing lane. And it's interesting, I just read this thing that my cousin Danny Roy posted about uh, a police officer an RCMP, I guess. Um, an RCMP talking about people uh, using the left lane as a lane of transportation as opposed to being the passing lane. And uh, he said he directly uh, related that if you are in the passing lane, which is the left lane, the right lane is not for passing, the left lane is for passing. And if you are not using the left lane to pass, you're in the wrong lane. And there is three people ahead of me who are all in the wrong lane. Driving 90, actually 80 and 100. And I can't uh, get past. I don't understand what's happening. Oh, no, no, now we're skirting 95. Very strange. We have really bad drivers here in Manitoba. No, 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 he sped up. Okay, now you're back to doing the speed limit. Good for you. Anyway, oh yeah, you wonderful. We're now passing someone in, passing in the right lane, someone who's in the left lane. But we're just, we're not actually going fast, we're just going the speed limit. So we're not really passing the person, we're just driving faster than they are because we're driving the speed limit. Interesting. Anyway, uh, how are y'all? Uh, noticed a couple things. I wanted to give a shout out to Doc. who seemed to be a little bit down in the dumps. He posted something that uh, just about made me cry. So, chin up, Doc. You're a great guy. I don't know you. I mean, I, I spent... Uh, I met you at KeyCon, and we sat at the same table for uh, a few hours, drinking a, a few drinks, and uh, chatting with the people that surround you, who are all awesome people. You have this, like, little clan of people that look up to you and think you're great. And uh, I think you need to remember that you have all these people that surround you that think you're great, including your children. Um, you may not have everything you want in life. You're missing that one component to make it awesome. I can understand that, man. I definitely can. But um, hang in there, brother. You're going to get there. Someone that's as awesome as you are somebody is going to notice that uh, you're single and that you're great and that you're funny as hell and talented as hell in fact uh, yeah people this man is single this man is awesome he provides for his family he loves his children more than dearly uh uh, he's incredibly creative. I think he just needs a muse. He needs a muse. So, if there's any muses out there, go see Doc. He's a great guy. Now, Doc, you can kill me if you want, but you did publicly post this on Facebook. So, hopefully I'm not treading into the wrong territory here. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for the midweek update. Uh, I have an opportunity to get some of my music into the uh, Colorado area. There is a uh, podcast and uh, DJ that uh, works out there, formerly of Manitoba. You should check out his show. He does a lot to promote uh, indie music, local indie music. Uh, and by local... I don't mean local Colorado. He's playing a lot of Manitoba stuff on his show. Um, I'm going to 
I just downloaded a, a, you can get his stuff on podcast um, he's a good dude man I don't know he just reached out and friended me out of the blue um, I'm like why he didn't have to do that you know like honestly anyway the guy's name is Philip Dupuy and uh, he has a show called Colorado Phil and uh, you can find it if you look up Colorado Phil don't get him uh, mixed up with the uh, politician of the same name because who knows he's a politician probably not a good guy but uh, this guy's awesome I'm going to check out his show don't mind giving shout outs to uh, other people doing what I do and other people doing things similar to what I do and other people doing things dissimilar to what I do because everyone who goes out and does their thing um, hats off hats off to you because uh, everyone is awesome everyone is beautiful you quote Jude everyone is beautiful something along those lines everyone is beautiful I don't know making up shit on the spot Okay, anyway, uh, I'm going to sign off here. Just want to keep it brief. i got some podcasting to listen to. Uh, we'll see you guys on the flip side.